To crush the MCAT, what you need is a smart plan. And in this video, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you a schedule that I strongly believe is enough to get a 520 plus in the MCAT. Hey everyone, my name is Kia and welcome to the Kia Effect. I created this channel so I can help students excel in university and also make the process of getting into medical school easier, whether it's help with applications or the MCAT. In this video, I'll walk you through a three to four months MCAT plan based on what actually works. If you haven't yet, please go and watch my video that I created about what resources are the best for the MCAT, as this will be a great complement to this video. Before getting started, I want to break down MCAT studying into three main phases. The first phase is the content review. Then we'll move on to the second phase, which is practice. And finally, the final phase will be the AAMC phase. Now, let's get into it. So, here is the schedule. Uh, it might sound really confusing at first, but do not worry, I'll break it down. Uh, we're starting with the first phase, which is the content review, then we'll move on to the second phase, which is practice, and then we'll move on to the third phase, which is AAMC. Starting from the first phase, here each box is a day. And as you can see on the left corner, I'm showing the number of the days. Also underneath, I'm showing the day, which is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and so on. Then inside each day, I'm listing things that I have to do. So let's start talking about the first phase, which is content review. In this phase, you need to review all the content that will be covered in the MCAT to cover all the resources. Just as a summary, in the left side, I'm including all the resources that will be used for this phase. You can see for the science sections to cover the topics in biology, biochemistry, organic chemistry, and general chemistry, I'm using Kaplan books. And to cover physics, I'm watching uh, sets of YouTube videos that I'm also including in the, in the description. But again, if you want to know more, you can go ahead and watch my video about what resources to use for the MCAT. Then for psychology, I'm reading over the 300 summary pages from Khan Academy for psychology and sociology. And finally, for the cars section of the MCAT, in the first phase or first month of my studies, I'm using Jack Weston and 30 day guide to the MCAT. Again, 30 day guide to the MCAT, it's not a practice set. So it's not an actual cars practice, but it's more of a schedule created only for cars. So here, based on my schedule for the first phase, I try to compensate all these 12 chapters of each into my schedule. So in the first day of my studying, I'm doing chapter one and two of, of organic chemistry, and I'm doing chapter one of biology. And I'm doing a couple of passages, cars. Then what I'm doing is doing biochemistry and general chemistry. Again, for biochem, I'll do chapter one and two. And for general chemistry, I'll do chapter one. Finally, the third day, I divided the 300 pages of psychology into a number of days that I want to do psychology, and it became almost 42 pages uh, per day that I'm studying psych. So again, on the third day, you can see that I'm doing 42 pages of the psychology book. And for the physics, I'm watching the first video. In total, there will be about 12 videos for the physics. And as you can see, cars is every day. You should really work hard to improve as this is the section that takes the longest to actually increase your score. Then on Sundays, I'm doing some cars passages, but I'm really taking the day off to refresh and hang out with friends to basically avoid getting burnt out. This first phase, which is the content review, will usually take you about 25 days, 30 days, but I'm gonna give it 35 days just in case. Many of the times when you're just starting studying the MCAT, or perhaps in some days, you might not be as able to study as other days. That's why it's always great to have a few extra days in your schedule in case you couldn't cover everything so you can cover it up. Now we've covered the first phase, we have a solid background about things and materials that will be covered on the MCAT. One advice that I want to give you right here is do not be greedy. You don't have to know everything about the materials that you studied. It's not a typical exam that you need to memorize everything and bring it down into the paper as you're given the correct choice and you have to find it. When you move on to the next step, which is practice, you keep seeing all those materials again and again, and then you rehearse them, remembering all those materials. What I did myself when I was studying for the first phase, which is content review, I was reading the PDF of the books. I copied every section that sounded confusing to me and pasted it into a Google Doc. 
So in the end, or for any free time that I had and I wanted to review, I would just go over my notes and highlight those that I saw I'm still not understanding. Moving on to the second phase. Second phase is practice. Again, we do have the resources to be used. I highly suggest using UWorld. UWorld has psychology, chemistry, biology, and cars questions. Also, if you wanted some extra practice for cars, I recommend using the 101 passages uh, from Exam Cracker. I try to do mini sections every day for my practice period. So for example, going to Monday, my first day of practice, I created a 60 question chemistry test. And after I'd done that, then I did 30 questions of the cars from Exam Cracker. And the rest of the day, I went on and review everything from chemistry to the cars. When reviewing chemistry from the U world, Again, I would see a lot of concept in the U world that I never encountered before, or perhaps I have, but I've forgotten from my content review phase. So I would just copy paste them into my Google Doc so I can keep track of things that are new to me and things that I would like to review. The next day, I will do 60 questions of bio section. For psychology, I'll again do 30 questions. So this is a routine that I would follow for days and days. As you can see, I changed the number of sections and numbers sometimes. Like on Saturday, you can see I'm doing 60 question of bio, 30 cars, and 30 chemistry. But everything you need to do is right here in this section. In the practice period, it's also a great time for you to start doing full length practices. Having full length practices in your schedule is a mandatory thing. You need to get used to the MCAT setting. Once you're doing the full length, it's really important to maintain the same condition you'll have in the MCAT. For example, in your break time, do not go on your phone. Here also in the resources, you can see I'm mentioning all the full length exams that are available and are used. In this section, I'm including Blueprint free MCAT. I'm using Blueprint first full length, Blueprint second full length, and AMC itself has six full-length MCAT exams that are must do. The first full-length I can suggest to do is the blueprint free. The first blueprint, which is free, is not a full MCAT section. It's actually half the time of the MCAT. And it's just a good estimate of what place you are in, what are the things you are struggling with, and what are the things you have to work on to improve. I'll spend the next day, Saturday, reviewing my exam and also resting. And finally, Sunday, again, review and rest. So if I scroll down and show you when my MCAT exam is, you see my MCAT is on Friday. So I'll try to keep all my full length exams on Friday. So we have now finished the second phase, which is practice. As you can see, we've only done UWorld, plus we've done two MCAT full length in this period. One thing about Blueprint or any other third party resources you use for full length, they're not a good prediction of what you will get in your MCAT. So just keep this in mind. If you did really bad in your blueprint, this doesn't mean that your, your MCAT score is gonna be that. It just means that you are improving your stamina. Moving on to the third phase, AMC. In this period, what I'm gonna do is only do all the AMC questions that are available. AMC is the company that creates MCAT, and for the same reason, all their questions are the most similar to what you're gonna see on the actual MCAT. I've only included every resource that AMC has for sections other than cars. For the car section, um, I'll give it to you guys. You can go ahead and find out what resources they have. But again, it's going to be on the schedule. Just try to do as many cars as you can. Honestly, you should be able to finish all the cars resources in the first three weeks and do much more cars passages. You can perhaps also do the Khan Academy cars. You can do 101 passages and many other resources for cars. I'm planning to create a new video and give you all the resources that exist for cars. To be precise, we need to cover all these sections and all these questions. So I'm just going to divide them into the number of days that I have until my MCAT exam. And again, as always, I'll have all my Fridays for my full length exams. And the next day, Saturday, I'll have it for my uh, review and also taking some rest. On Sunday, you can see I'm using the AAMC Bio Volume 1, doing 60 questions, and then doing the chemistry, doing 30 questions, and doing cars. On Monday, I'm doing Bio Volume 2, 30 questions, Physics, 30 questions, and so on. Finishing all the AMC content shouldn't take that long. It's, it's going to take about three weeks max. And as you can see, I'm almost done on Tuesday, 26th day of my AMC practice phase. Now the most important time of your MCAT studying is this last two weeks. By this time, you're really exhausted. You've done everything and now you're so close to the MCAT, the stress is hitting you on. 
As I've mentioned before, there is a review official guide for the MCAT, which is a perfect resource for the last two weeks of the MCAT. It includes everything you need to know from your, you need to remember and recall from your content review. It includes every high yield detail that you need to memorize before going to the MCAT. I myself took this review book with myself, went to a classroom, sat down, and started writing every detail I have to memorize on the blackboards in the class. A lot of them actually showed up on the actual MCAT. And finally, as you can see in the schedule, the day before your MCAT, rest, and finally, you're good to go to your MCAT. Here's a full MCAT schedule that includes everything you need to know from the content that you have to cover, going to the practice, all the practices you need to do, and doing full length exams, plus doing the AMC questions, and finally the last two weeks of reviews. So thank you so much for watching this till here. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.